You know, some days you wake up and you just go about your day and have fun and do work and do everything. And then there's some days where the gamer writes an article that's supposedly satire again to own the chuds all in the name of you hating video games. And we got another one here from Mike Drucker. I'm personally going to force game companies to put in all that stuff you hate. Well, are you now on, on board with Sweet Baby Inc? Because that's what they're doing. Recently, it was exposed that they were trying to extort $7 million out of uh, a Chinese gaming company, Game Science, over Black Myth Wukong. But this one in particular is taking aim at Assassin's Creed Shadows. You know, the game where you now play a African samurai. Uh, you know, a story, a myth of legend that has come full circle within the gaming world. Uh, there's been videos and shows and everything about Yasuke in the past, more of a concept, but now it's being pushed upon everyone that wants to play a video game. Even though the accuracy of the video game seems to be poorly received, uh, on top of a samurai going through multiple towns where they generally wouldn't be in samurai garb and wouldn't be working alongside of that. And, you know, everything you see with the trailers where he is now going after and killing Japanese people while playing the game to hip hop style music. Who do you think you are? For the people? I am just... Wow, this is a pretty, uh, this isn't satire. This is pretty uh, trying to take a pock shot at all the gamers that actually give a shit on what's going on in the video game world. So, the, the sass tire part. I heard you're not happy with games lately. You've been let down by decisions by video game developers you find outrageous. Assassin's Creed has been ruined for you because of a historical figure you weren't expecting. You mean a historically inaccurate figure that generally and would have been a slave in feudal Japan underneath a dictator that goes around beheading Japanese people in a video game. How the, the game itself is pretty insulting, I would say, in the first place for the type of culture that things were back in feudal Japan. Yes, things were bad, but if you really want to get into it, go look at like The Last Samurai and they did things really right. That You didn't see Tom Cruise just going around randomly beheading people in a video game, which is kind of what you're seeing with uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah, there's bosses and, and people to fight, but that's kind of more what you're seeing. You're seeing this as an Assassin's Creed game where you generally are sitting there assassinating people. That's the difference. Uh, and that's too bad because I'm personally going to force game companies to put all the stuff you hate. That's not the problem here. We want things, we want a good story. So if you're going to put the stuff into a video game that we hate, that means you're gonna take away the good story and just give a mediocre, oh wait, that's what's already happening and why games are failing, why we are seeing thousands of people losing their jobs because games are failing in the industry. Yes, things are in a very, very bad place. You are seeing thousands of people let go. How many layoffs were there last year? 10,000 people lost their jobs because of video games that failed and because Microsoft is buying up all these game companies and then dispersing them out there and saying, we don't need you anymore because they have a full supplement of people to take people's places. That's what's happening in the games industry and why a lot of people are speaking out against this type of thing. They want a good story. If you can't write a good story for a video game, if you don't want to be accurate, if you're going to make a video game more satire and and then try and sell the game as an accurate depiction of historical figures in history in Japan, well, I think you need to take a step back and actually rewrite that 
of what's going on there because the person that they consulted on it wrote a uh, wrote a book about uh, Buddhist priests uh, having affairs with adolescent boys. And this is why a lot of people are upset and up in arms with Assassin's Creed Shadows because it's not depicting the Japanese culture. It's not depicting what happened in feudal Japan very accurately. And people want that immersion and not be told that, oh, if you're not going to play this game, now, now suddenly you're a racist. No, I'm not a consulting company. I'm not associated with one either. According to YouTubers that only use massive fonts, consulting companies are the most powerful force on earth. No, what's happened here is some consulting companies, in particular Sweet Baby Inc., has, sit, has sat there and tried to extort video game companies that don't let them have their way with them. This is the satire that you write. You try and point at everything and try and make it a ha ha funny in a situation that's pretty serious out there. And I'm, I'm certain at this, I, I'm wondering at what point does the FTC or does a, a government body start to step in here and say, listen, there's been things that have been going on here and this needs to stop. We've seen, however, governments also funding these things in video games, pushing a narrative. And that's the issue. That's the bigger issue in all of this. Taxpayers' money is funding these games up front with a bonus up front if they make the game about DEI and then push it out onto the marketplace, it fails. The company still gets their money from the government because the taxpayers have already paid them and then the game fails and then they get to turn around and write off all the people that sit there and help make these games and completely fire them and let them go to the unemployment line. It's absolutely disgusting and this cycle needs to stop because all those people that are going to the unemployment line no longer can pay the taxes that the government re requires in order to fund the government to actually do things and infrastructure. Overall, this is going to affect everyone in the long run, especially when taxpayers' money is being wasted in this manner. That's the TLDR on everything that's going on and why DEI is sucking the complete humanity out of all the video games. If you guys want to read this, just look it up. I'll leave the archive link there. But if you go down into the comment section here, the first one, of course, is someone that's approving them, probably put it up there himself. But then it's funny when we make fun of uh, the right people. I promise Mike Drucker and Zan virtue signaling to each other. Wow, this is really resonating with people, huh? Not a single comment with a like until I added one. Lame. Don't worry, we're all massively boycotting any woke thing you guys are forcing by not buying it and what are you doing is exactly what we needed to start a war and end wokeism. Assassin's Creed Shadows and Wukong have been the spark that has de detonated everything and the fact that you gain the opposite result is deeply annoys you because the accountability of its failure relies on you. We have Japanese and Asian entertainment which dominates over you and rejects all your fragile, woke, leftist propaganda in the most tyrant way. And I love it. Have you seen the new pre-orders for Rukon? It's number one on stream. All thanks to you. Thanks to your contributions on making us buy opposite by trying to force us your ideology. Tight and tilted. Yes, you are. And that is exactly it. That is really what's going on here. Wukong rockets to the top when they try and bring the game down and claiming sexism in the gaming uh, company over it. And yet none of the allegations are confounded. None of them actually existed. This is the exact same thing that happened with Hogwarts last year. Hogwarts rocketed to $2 billion very, very quickly. And it's still a good game overall. A lot of people enjoyed the game, but nobody could get past that it was a JK Rowling game. Anyway, I've talked on long enough for this absolute fool and meltdown of a take from a person that claims they're a journalist because all they know how to do is write satire worse than The Onion. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. Yeah.